Hey everybody and welcome to episode 190 of the Daily Dose of Drupal. I am Adam and today we are going to be looking at the Superfish module. This is a module if you are in the Drupal community you're probably even going to be familiar with. It is kind of an oldie but a goodie. Um, it's one of those modules that I actually kind of forgot about over the course of some time and actually used it just the other day and I thought hey this is actually a pretty nice module. Um, doesn't need a ton of configuration but just kind of works and works really well out of the box. So we're going to be taking a look at that module here in a second. But first just make sure that you go ahead and check out CodeKarate.com. Make sure to get on our newsletter list as well as check out our new Drupal Commerce course. Uh, it's uh, four and a half hours of material completely taking you through how to set up and install and get running a Drupal Commerce Kickstart website. Um, you go ahead and click on the video there to see a little intro about what the course is all about. But we appreciate uh, if you check that out and let us know what you think about it. All right, let's get to the module. So again, we are using the Superfish module. So what the Superfish module is, for those who are not familiar, is really a module that just allows you to have um, take your menus and put them into um, a Superfish block and then allows you to have drop downs and embedded uh, menus within that. It's just really easy to have that functionality. There's a ton of other things that have been added since last time I looked at it. And we're going to look at a lot of these. Um, some of them have to do with you know responsive websites and touch settings with menus on tablets and such like that. So we're going to take a look at a few of those configurations um, as we go through the video. Um, this module does require a separate library. Um, you will need to download the Superfish library. And you also need to make sure you are using um, jQuery 161 if you want to use the easing feature, which I'm going to explain that later. We're not going to get into using the easing feature. Um, but basically what that is is it just allows you to change the effect of when your drop downs appear. So if you do want to use that, just make sure that you do download the easing library and you need to have at least jQuery uh, 1.61 installed. Um, also, if you keep reading here on the page, it actually provides a lot of information. Um, one of the things that I noticed is they do recommend that you use the um, development library for Superfish, which is right here at the development release or the master branch. Um, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you want to get this master branch of Superfish library. So when you click on that, that's going to download a zip folder with um, the Superfish library. So then what you need to do is you need to go to your, however you want to ins however you install your libraries and under sites all libraries you want to make sure that you add the Superfish um, library there. So it's just a folder called Superfish. Inside there you drop in the, all the contents, which again includes all the CSS, um, JavaScript files, all the files that you'll need to run um, your Superfish module. So again, um, you can get the library by clicking on this link here. Um, also, the, there's a link up here for the production or stable release. Um, the development release just has a few other features in it that might come in handy down the road. Um, both are going to work for you. So the other thing you want to do is get the module. And again, just like any other module, I'm using um, the 7.19 version. Um, so again, to get that module installed, just like you would do any other module. So once we head over here to our modules page, again, we have both the library and the module installed. We'll find our module. It's only required by the menu, so that's the only other module you'll need, which is going to come in Drupal Core anyway. So once you have that, you can go to Configure here. And on this, there's actually not a ton of configuration needed. Um, the only things you're looking at is, by default, it's going to create four blocks for Superfish. Um, you can set that to change if you need more or less. Um, leaving it the default is not a big deal. But if you like a clean site, sometimes you only want to use what you need. So you might change that to a smaller number. Um, but all the actually configuration happens within the admin blocks section. So if we go over to our blocks page here, we'll scroll down here and you'll see that I have Superfish 2, 3, and 4. Um, and number one I actually already have put in and that's right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure on that block. So then here you're going to see a lot of similar things you've noticed before with blocks. So you can give it a title. So we could call it um, um, the block description, this is just for your own own purposes. I always actually like to put like Superfish after that or something, just so I know it's uh, using the Superfish module. Um, then you can select which menu you want it to use. 
Um, obviously, if you have other menus in here, you can pick whichever one you want. I'm going to pick the administration menu just because it has a ton of links. And that's the exact same one up here. But I'm going to pick that one just so we can see it in action. And then you get into some Superfish settings. Um, there's a bunch of settings. We're not going to carry through all of these just because there's a, more than we normal person would need. But you can look at um, a few of these here. First of all, you can select if you want a horizontal, vertical, or nav bar menu. Um, the main difference between um, a horizontal and nav bar is a nav bar obviously just, uh, you know, it would be best if I just show you. So I'll show you the differences here. But we're going to start with a horizontal. You can select a style. Of course, you can apply your own CSS if you want, but they do come with a you know set of different styles that you can use. We're going to try the simple style to begin with. You can select the animation speed of your um, drop downs. Obviously, make sure you note that you can only use three values here: slow, fast, or slow, normal, or fast. Or you can use it in milliseconds. So if you wanted like 700 milliseconds, which I don't know off the top of my head if that's fast or slow but we're gonna select slow here you can select how much of a how much basically how long the mouse needs to be sitting over the menu item before it um, closes so this is set to 800 milliseconds so if I move my mouse off of the menu it'll take 800 milliseconds to go away this is a, a class that gets added to the list item active trail so you can customize that if you wanted Um, this is obviously if you want um, to use the jQuery easing plugin, you have to just install that library. And again, it provides some information here about how to get that going on. Um, all the uh, libraries and stuff should be provided on the um, Superfish page right here to get to that library and such like that. Um, let's see here. Oh, a couple other things. One other thing that I want to actually hit on here is under the Superfish plugins. Oops, too far. Right here, there's a couple new features that were added since I've last seen it, and a couple of really cool ones. Um, it uses a there's a beta release for this, but it basically provides um, functionality for touch screens, so you can set to set sh basically allow it easier to be clicked on on a touch screen device. So we can set that to appear when window width is 768, and again, that can be customized to whatever you'd like. The other thing that's kind of cool here is on a small screen, you can set to use a select drop down. Um, and that's right here. Again, we can set by the width. So if we want width, we're going to say at 768, drop a select box instead of the menu. And then here's a bunch of customization options, you know, with class settings and stuff like that you can use. Um, I don't, you know, for the most part, you never really need to change anything. But if you do want some full customization, you can do that. Uh, the other thing that's probably useful um, I've used it once here in the last few days um, is customizing your HTML and CSS and basically it allows you to provide um, wrappers or other additional classes around certain things so you could wrap this around the entire UL which is like the wrapper for the entire menu so you could put like a like it says a heading in there um, you could put you know a div to clear it if you don't want to float stuff like that of course you can do a lot of this with CSS um, as well, um, it lets you get it, you know, as fine grained as you want. So you can go around the manual UL, around the just the content um, hyperlinks and hyperlinks content. So you can really get fine grained if you want to have a specific layout for your menu. Again, you can have the same settings with your CSS. Um, it does provide you a bunch of other classes. Um, you can choose to hide or show them if you want, but for the most part. You don't really need all that stuff. I mean, it's out of the box. There's not a lot of customization that needs to take place. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and save this. We're going to add it to our header. I'm going to save this block. And if we refresh our page, you'll see that it's already there because I had it earlier. But here it is. Here's our Superfish menu. So if I go under here, I can see all of this drop down. drops to another level. Um, this is, again, using a predefined theme. So I didn't have to do any coding or CSS to make it look nice. Um, and you can see that there's kind of a slow delay there, which is set because I set it to slow so you can see it a little better. You, of course, you can change that. But when I move off, see how it takes a little while to go away? Again, that's that 800 milliseconds. Um, to give you an idea of what the nav bar looks like, so here, remember, so when I do structure, see how it all stays in line? It doesn't go over to the left side. That's the main difference between nav bar and horizontal. 
So if we go to switch this to navbar, click save here. Now you'll see that when I drop down, it drops down and brings back over, which you would imagine is similar to a navbar. It just keeps dropping down from there under the second um, drop. So again, that's a preference more than anything. I personally like the horizontal uh, style over the navbar, but each his own. Um, again, you can change, like I said, go ahead and change all that. Um, just to give you an idea real quick, we'll look at some of the code behind this. So again, there's a bunch of different classes and stuff you can use to customize your own. Um, here's like here's your LIs and your UL. So here's your UL and then your LIs and then of course inside of an LI is going to be another UL which is the secondary menu. So that's this comments one right there. So there's my comments link. And again, just notice all the classes they give you um, to really do some fine grain control if you don't, you're not happy with the default style. Again, of course, you can move this around to wherever you want it. If you want it in the footer or the sidebar, um, if you wanted to say we wanted to change it to the sidebar and do a vertical list, we could do that. Pretty simple. So you can say just a vertical. And we want it to appear in the first sidebar. We do that. And then if we go ahead and refresh. Now you'll see it's over here. Of course, it kind of needs some styling, but for the most part, you get the you get the idea of how it can easily be in multiple places um, with just a few clicks of the button. So anyway, guys, that is the Superfish module. Again, it's a module that's actually been around for quite a while. Um, February 10th, or February 10th, February 11th of 2010 is when it was originally created. It was last updated. Uh, 2013 of April so as it's been a little while but it's a module is just very solid it's highly used you can obviously rely on it to work all right so that includes the video on superfish module again make sure to head on over to code karate let us know what you think uh, let's know what's additional modules that we should review or look at other than that we'll talk to you later